No, it's still early, obviously, but what are yeah. your kind of early evaluations or just uh, observations of the team thus far? For the team right now, we need competition. That's that's the way I feel um, right now. I think the more experience that we get some guys on the mat, uh, making the weight and uh, just being you know, competing every day. I think a guy like Jacoby Smith, I think more matches he gets at the Division One level, you know, rather from junior college um, to now, although he had that red shirt year last year, I think it's a lot different um, competing every day. But I, so I think with him, he's going to get a lot better as competition goes on. But um, evaluation of the team uh, the next day, the Sunday after the duel, I think the duel we we um, we didn't perform that well, and I believe on Sunday we came back with a better attitude, a better performance. Um, outside of a few matches where we lost right in the last seconds or or last period, um, you know those things that we can clean up. Um, you win those matches, and uh, you come away with Sunday with a with a really good day. Um, so you get a little bit of uh, taste and fed taste in your mouth with just those finishes, but. Uh, you know, it's a long season, so just building every day for it. Those matches you talk about not finishing, do you think some of that comes with the lack of experience right now? Uh, I think I think just the, the competition level, um, just yeah. finishing out your matches. Um, a lot of that probably, you know, does come with the competition, um, the experience. You know, guys like Cape Rock and guys like Chandler should, should know that. I mean, even though you out-wrestle your guys, I think a guy like Jacoby, um, where he lost that match, where if he held out the Lehigh kid, he would have went into overtime and had a chance to win. Um, you know, same kind of mistake he made the day before, going into the second period, gives an escape and a takedown with short time left. So just being able to be mindful of your match throughout the whole time, um, I definitely think it comes you know, with, with competition, obviously. So. Um, you think you'll get the competition you're kind of looking for this weekend against Minnesota? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the matchups with Minnesota. Minnesota, is a, it's a, they're a really good cool team. Um, they got guys, I was going over to line up here earlier, and, you know, you see, uh, you know, four guys ranked in the top eight, and then two other guys ranked in, in uh, ten. So, you know, they got you know, six guys ranked in the top ten, you know, coming in, and there's some real, real key matchups, you know, right from the get-go, um, where Nick's wrestling, even though Nick's, higher ranked opponent. He's coming in against the returning NCAA finalist who we lost to last year at the Southern Scuffle. So um, I think those first three matches are going to be uh, critical in how we how we perform as a team. Um, you know, they probably are best three guys, our, our, our top three guys match up with their top three guys in that early weight. So uh, momentum is, is, is key to that start. So in a home duel against a Big Ten team. How big is that for guys like Gio and, you know, Jacoby making there yeah. to get that experience? It's a big, it's a big, you know, Jacoby's grown up watching, you know, OSU from Muskogee. Um, so he went to NEO for two years and during that time he's been coming up to some duels and, you know, he's finally has his opportunity to wrestle inside Gallagher. Um, so I think he's probably really anticipating it. Um, he's still kind of He's still learning how to lead. He's still learning how to, you know, follow the leaders and, and, and build that. Um, you know. But uh, Minnesota, they're a tough team. They've always been a tough, good, tough team, good, solid team. They don't really make too many mistakes in wrestling. So we're going to have to use our, our athletic ability and our, our skill and our kind of technique to, you know, to, to win this duel. Are you going to kind of savor this home duel a little bit, considering the fact that you guys don't have another duel in GIA until you know, January yeah. after this? Yeah, until January. Then we come back, you know, that second half of the year. Quite we come a few, back with quite quite a few, a few home duels. So it's nice. It's nice that on your schedule where you're not traveling so much, you know, towards the second half of the season. Um, yeah, we'll savor it. I mean, it's a it's a big athletic weekend for Oklahoma State, so that's always that's always great. Um, you come back, you have basketball on Thursday night, you got women's on Friday, you got the game on Saturday, and you got a women's game and wrestling on Sunday. So um, plan on a nice long weekend in Stillwater. Um, so you know, get home late. So uh, yeah, we'll savor it. I mean, so hopefully some of the fans stick around for that. So. Uh, White seems to have adjusted the heavyweight pretty well. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, Derek, um, I think, um, you know, just as a staff, um, you see, you see Derek pop out there, and he had some good wins over the weekend. Um, you know, coming into the season, um, you know, and in the room, how talented he is. Um, but then you wait to see his performance, and um, over the weekend, he had a good performance. He wrestled some guys that were ranked, and after the weekend, got himself ranked in the rankings. Um, 
lost a tough match to a big kid from Hofstra who's, who's ranked somewhere in the top 10. Um, but uh, yeah, it's nice to know that you have a heavyweight. Yeah. You know, it's nice to know you have a heavyweight and we're starting to kind of do well with building guys from 197 up to heavyweight. So it's a nice, nice little spot. Great deal. Awesome. Thanks, Zach. Right. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.